I happen to have an air leak in my Fortis 400MC behind me and today I want to see if I can find that air leak and hopefully get it fixed. Welcome to 3D Accuracy where I'll talk about 3D printing, 3D product design, and 3D injection and die cast mold design. I already have the side panels removed from the printer so I can have access to all the air lines and see if I can locate where the leak is. What I'm going to do is I turned the, the air compressor and I've verified that the air compressor is okay. There's no leak here. There's no leak in the hose. But as soon as I attach it to the printer, the gauge starts to drop. So I know that there's something in the machine. Now I talked with Stratasys and they said best way to do it, because I tried turning it on and getting air, compressed air in there, and I could not find the leak. I could not hear a leak. I could not feel a leak. And so they advised getting matches or incense so that you have something that you can see the air disturbance. You know, if it uh, the smoke gets close to where the leak is, it's going to blow the smoke and then you can you know isolate the leak because I tried doing it just by having it full of pressure and I could not find a leak in there we have to go with the next route and so what I did is I decided to get some incense and I went to a smoke shop and they happened to have incense and I told the gal what I was going to use it for and she said try this instead it's sage and what you do is you just light it and then after it's burning a bit, you just blow it out and it will smolder for a long period of time until you kind of crush it out. But it will smolder and make more smoke than incense. So she said, this might help me find the leak easier. So I'm going to try this. Several weeks back, I was watching a video online on YouTube. I like to watch this guy, uh, Scotty Kilmer. Uh, he's an, he has an automotive channel. He does vehicle repair, that kind of stuff. Very knowledgeable. And I just enjoy watching him sometimes. And so I was watching one of his videos, and he had a problem with the vacuum system on a vehicle the PVC PCV valve and so he had this little device this little pump and he attached it to the PVC, PCV valve I always get PVC plastic and PCV valves <laughs> I want to get those two mixed up <laughs> so correct me when I'm wrong <laughs> but anyway he had this little pump and he connected it to the PCV valve on the car and it put smoke in this little pump thing. He put some mineral oil in there and lit it and it made smoke and then he pumped it into the system on the car and you could see where the smoke was leaking out so you could find the leak in the in the vehicle. And I thought, oh, that would be a great thing to do with the machine if I don't have luck with the sage, if I can't find it, is to actually pump smoke into the machine, in through the system, and see where it's leaking from. Now, of course, I would not want to do that with mineral oil or whatever he mentioned. He may might have been something else, but I'd have to go back and check the video again before I do it. But I wouldn't want to use something like that because I'm, I'm concerned that there's a residue in the smoke. And if I pump it through the system here, it may be detrimental to the printer. But I thought I could use it with the sage. I could put the sage in the container, let it smolder and make smoke because it's just a dry smoke. There's not going to be a residue, you know, from an oily product and... Perhaps that would work really well. You know, it would show me exactly where the leak is. So anyway, I have, I have another option should this not work. So let's get started. Here's what I'm going to do. First, let's turn on this compressor and get some compressed air into the system so we've got something to work with. So we'll just turn this on. Okay, so we're about 60, so let's turn it off. Oh, now that's new. I can hear a leak. Oh my goodness, where's it coming from? <laughs> Last time I did this, it didn't do that. Let's turn on this light and see what I have. 
Oh, I can feel it. It's coming. Oh, wow. Okay. It's right here. There it is, right there at that connection. This plastic hose. Oh, happy day. Found it. <laughs> now, it didn't do this before. Because I've been in here looking for the leak and it didn't do this. Okay, well, at least I know. <laughs> wow, that's cool. That's cool. There's the leak right there. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it. It's right there where the hose goes into that little fitting. All right. Oh, well, that's certainly a blessing. <laughs> I love that. Found it immediately. I was planning on spending hours going through the machine all afternoon trying to locate where the leak was. And here it is right at the, right at the back of the machine where the hose connects in that coupling on the inside. So... Now what I want to do is let me move the machine and then we'll take it apart and I'll show you what that looks like once I've got pieces and I know what I'm working with. Here's what we have. That little fitting on the bottom here, this little right angle fitting, that actually rotates. It's, it's loose on there. I can feel it seems like there's something rubbery in there. There's some sort of a gasket between the, the plastic coupling and the, the nut itself. It looks like, a, uh, looks like a brass nut. And the hose, I was just able to pull that right out of there. Uh, all I did was press down on the little ring here, this little lock ring that holds it in place. I just pushed that down and the, the pipe slid right out, or the little tube, I mean, slid right out. So I don't know if it's this little right angle coupling that's no good inside or whether it's the hose it doesn't seem fragile I don't see a or feel a crack in it anywhere so I think what I'm going to try is I'm going to cut this off uh, start with a new portion of the tube I'll cut I'll cut this off you know up a half an inch or an inch or so I'll cut this off and then I'll put it back in there and see if that holds the pressure. If not, then I know this little coupling here is no good, and I'll just have to unscrew that and find one of those. I don't know if Ace Hardware carries those. I've got an Ace Hardware close to me that I can get to, and we'll just take it one step at a time. So first I'll try it, and I may, you know, once I reseat the, the tube, it may still have a small leak, but um, I'll just have to see, once I get it in there, I'll just have to see. We'll just take it one step at a time and see if it seems like it still has a leak or not, or if it holds the air. Uh, one way I can tell is to just hook it up and then uh, turn the compressor on, let it get a, uh, let, let the tank get full, and then turn it off and see whether it holds the air or not. Because I know when, when the, when the uh, plastic airline is disconnected from the machine it will hold pressure so it doesn't have any leaks in the in the in the compressor it was here so i'm going to cut that reseat it and then put some pressure on it and see what happens okay have that tube cut off and i pushed it back into the fitting yeah, there, you can see it. Okay, I pushed it back into the fitting, went in very easily. So I'm not sure if it's, you know, going to seal correctly or not. If not, then the fitting is maybe no good, and we'll replace that. But we'll start there. So that's attached, so let's turn on the air compressor here. Let that get some air in it. Let's see whether or not it holds it there. I don't feel anything. Don't hear anything. Okay, maybe that'll do it. Let's see what happens. All right, well, let's go ahead and turn this off. It's above 120.
Yeah, there's a leak. Small leak, but I can feel it. I can feel it. So maybe this little valve is not good, or this little elbow piece. I can feel the air coming out between between the body and this little lock ring, this little release ring here. I can feel air. Okay, so we know that it's probably this little piece here that needs to come out, and it's just threaded in with some Teflon tape, and I have Teflon tape, got plenty of that. So this is the next part to replace. All right, well, at least I know where the leak is. <laughs> so now I'll just wait for that pressure to drop a little bit more, and then I'll go ahead and take that apart and see if I can get one of those pieces and just replace it. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you're ever in need of 3D product design, 3D injection mold design, 3D die cast mold design, or 3D printed prototypes or production parts, please feel free to contact me. You can find contact information in the video description. I look forward to hearing from you and to being of service to you. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it. See you on 3D Accuracy's next video.